All right, I have my iron on. I like to use the highest setting, but also pay attention to the tag in your shirt. You don't want to burn it if it's one of those plasticky type materials. But the first thing you're going to do is pull the pointy end of the ironing board through one of the arms, making sure that the shoulder panel here is on top. Spray with some water. And of course, make sure that you are ironing out the wrinkles. You want to be careful that you're not ironing in wrinkles. There we go, just going over everything. If you have any little spots, you can do some detail work. That's good. Let's pull it through our second armhole. Again, making sure that the shoulder panel is up top, right there. There we go. Now we are going to move to the other side of our ironing board. Okay. We'll put our shirt down. That shoulder panel again is lined up with the top edge of the ironing board. Now I'm just going to spray some water. And iron that all out. As you go over the pocket, again be careful that you're not ironing in wrinkles. Do a little, little movements there. Because as you move the iron, it can pick up material and then it folds it over and then you iron in a big old crease and you're doing the opposite of what you want. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to keep rotating the shirt through. I already got a portion of that panel. I'm going to get that other piece right there. You can see it's still wrinkled up there. Good. Pull it through. Normally I'd stand on the opposite side of the ironing board, but since I'm showing you how this is done, I'm just going to do this left-handed. Now when you get to this pleated part right here, you're going to iron out the pleat. Just get as high as you can. Let's keep rotating this. Same thing, spray some water. Keep rotating. Now we are at our last panel here. Now the buttons are going to be covered up so you don't have to get too crazy in between them. At least this placket here along the edge. But still go through it if you want to do a thorough job. From here I do the collar. And then the sleeves are what's really gonna set you apart from the guy next to you if you know how to iron them. To make your sleeves look sharp, you can take your shirt, place it face up on the ironing board, and you're gonna find the seam at the shoulder panel. Pinch that, and then find the pleat that goes into the cuff. You want the one that is furthest forward on your shirt. I'm going to take that and pinch it as well. And then this is the crease that I'm going to iron in to my sleeve. It's going to make you look sharp. It's going to make you stand out. All right. 
and just iron that all the way up. There we go, again making sure that you're not ironing in a uh, crease that you don't want. You just want to stick to that going into this pleat. Now I'm going to find the opposite edge where the seam is at the bottom of the sleeve and I'm just going to lay it flat. Now I'm only going to iron the portion that hasn't been ironed. I'm not going to go over this top part and ruin my crease that I just made. good and I almost never do this but this is also when you would iron your uh, your cuff if you take care of your shirts and you leave them on the hanger then they should look nice they shouldn't be too wrinkled up let's do that to the other side same thing I'm gonna find my shoulder panel pinch it there and then find my crease that is farthest forward or my pleat Lay it flat so that I can iron in a nice crease there. There we go. Now find my opposite seam right there on the other side. And this time I'm only ironing the portions that haven't already been ironed. And again, you can get the cuff at this point too. Just little sections at a time because it's not going to all sit flat at the same time. And that's it. So here's the finished product. I just wanted you to see what it looks like when you take the crease on the arm and take it from the pleat furthest forward on the cuff and bring it all the way up to the seam at the shoulder board. It just makes for a more finished look.